What's going on guys? Welcome to another video in my Unity Devlog series. In this video I'm going to be looking into creating a silo to hold the crops instead of a barn because that's not really fitting. I was kind of shying away from this video because Heyday uses a silo and a barn. I thought it would be kind of copying them. But heck, it's a silo. Every farmer needs a silo. And I'm going to also make it so that whatever you cook in the bakery, I'll make the speed up button work and I'll also add space to the bakery. And when something is done cooking, it'll be sitting outside in a box. And if I have time, I'm going to do a bunch of other really cool things. So let's jump into it. All right. So the first thing is I don't like how the slider is this boring blue. I want it to change colors based on how much space the farmer has left. And with these cool calculations, right here now I have something that looks like this and red that's just way more satisfying and now I'm going to make a silo real quick so <laughs> you already know what's about to happen what am I gonna type vector stock hmm I don't like these Alright, I think this silo right here is the winner for now. This silo right here is- Cut, cut, cut. I know it's a windmill, not a silo. Don't judge. Can't really find anything that looks good. Ta-da! Look at those hardworking boys. Yeah, this doesn't clean very well. Alright, here's the silo. I added a little bit of highlights. And boom, there it is. The silo. The silo acts just like the barn. Literally, all I did was change its name and image. So technically, it's a silo now. A windmill silo. I don't care, guys. And ta-da! Yeah, a barn silo. What's that? Now I need an actual barn? Look how! Yeah, it's still here. But it does nothing. It's literally useless. Just like your mom. What? When she's asleep, of course. But now I need to make the food sit outside when it's done cooking, so let's do that. So I changed up my UI a little bit so it shows, instead of a description, the details of the recipe. You got the housing space, the sediety, and so on and so forth. And guess what, guys? My channel just hit 50 subscribers. let's go i want to thank all you guys who helped me out thank you guys for subscribing and i'm probably gonna have a special for the 100 subscriber mark so anyways yeah i was pretty excited about that now i need to go to the recipe and add all these details i hope this song makes you happy it copy striked me but i don't care to me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me all right so now all i have to do is Put this all in. Me, they want the best of me. Which only took about a couple of minutes. You get this. All the details about the item. Me now. Best of me now. Best of me now. Best of me. Alright, I guess coding isn't that cool. So, bread has pretty bad stats. But carrot pie, mmm, look at that. Eight strength. This is what all the bodybuilders eat. Only carrot pie, even though it's full of sugar. But after all that, I spent a lot of time polishing the bakery. I added a bunch of cool new features. For one, now there's bakery space. So if we get like maybe nine bread, hit OK. You can't buy carrot pie because the carrot pie has four housing space. And now you could uh, speed up items. It kind of looks like that. If we hit boost, amazing. And also another very satisfying thing is boosting the bakery panel. So check this out. It increases its speed by times four and check it out. This was actually kind of hard to implement, but yeah, now everything is working quite nicely. Check it out. That's what it looks like when it's sped up. I couldn't think of anything that would look good. So I just made particles. I love particles. Now I need to put boxes outside for the farmer to take down back to the barn. So let's do it, boys. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, let's do it. Ow. Look how good that looked. Look how good that looked. <laughs> what? I never stole anything. I worked for these boxes. I had to erase the entire background. I got the boxes imported. So now if I cook a recipe. 
And when it's done, you can go outside and see that the box is laying outside. And now I need to make it so that the farmer will come and pick up the box and take it to the barn. All right, my waypoint system is just something I don't want to touch because it is just so complex. And I just got a bunch of bugs out of nowhere and I wasted a couple hours on fixing bugs that I created on something that was already working. But now it performs better. Now that I refactored my code, it's just much cleaner. So that's cool. <sighs> Top signs of an inexperienced programmer. Now the second sign of a new inexperienced developer is just crazy tangled code, crazy logic all over the place, huge functions, tons of if statements all over the place. Tons of if statements all over the place. If, 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 if. Oh my word, if, oh. Over-engineered garbage code. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to steer clear of over-engineered garbage code. Coding becomes easier the more garbage and complex you make it, but in return, it becomes very hard to read. And here is a beautiful montage. And now you harvest. And you gather it. Okay, right now, as you can see, he can collect more than his inventory space. I'll fix that right now. And you go to the silo. Boom, boom. Beautiful. Wait, why was it all carrot? That was not all carrot. Oh my word. <sighs> How did that even... Whatever, I'm just going to fix the inventory glitch right now. Inventory space. All right, so I resolved the issue so that you cannot pick up more than your inventory can handle. So now if Rick tries to be cheeky and pick up some extra crops, this happens. Boom. That's right. That is so satisfying. I like that. It just fades. Oof. Yeah. Now let's address the error that thinks it's only one crop. All right, so I addressed the error that thought it only added one crop. So if we take a look now, there you go. It showed different crops. <laughs> So what actually happened was when I said I was going to refactor my code and make it quote unquote better, well, I actually made it into some over-engineered garbage code. Hey, Tech Lead here and welcome back to another episode. Over-engineered garbage code. Yeah, so basically, yeah, the obsolete. I only miss the summer when it starts to snow. And I started missing this code when I refactored it. And as a bonus, I added behind the scenes. You can pick up a box and that's about it. Now I need to make barn inventory space and all that good stuff. And voila, there it is. I have this pretty decent tab system that you can open separate tabs. Push yeah, boys. Looking pretty good. Now I need to update the inventory of the barn. All right, boys. We need to talk. What is that? Like, what is that? That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And if you guys don't know what this building is, what it actually is, is it's a cook hut. And it's obsolete now because my idea initially was that when you want to cook something, a cook runs out of his hut and goes to the bakery and starts cooking. But I changed that idea because I just don't like it. So, gotta be done, boys. Ooh, it's gone forever. And I like it. It looks so much better here. All right, I just finished adding resources to the barn. Let's see if it works. Rick goes to the box and walks to the barn. And let's just see what happens. Does it work? Uh, no, it does not. Wow, there's a lot of error. All right, guys, I messed up. I seriously messed up. All right, so if we hit play here and I make some bread, now if I pick up the crate, I have 12 bread on my farmer. If I drop it in the barn, I get this now, which is cool. It all works until the farmer holds two crates at a time and the code is just garbage over engineered. So what happened was basically the foundation of my code is just horrible and this caused all the code on top of it that I just added to just completely go to garbage. I'm getting really, really frustrated. This is getting pretty tough, but you know what? I don't care. As much as it takes, that's as much as I will put in. However hard it is, that's how hard I am. I will not let this get to me. I will restructure my foundation and I will fix the problem. And I will not let this little thing get to me and ruin everything for me. But no matter what, I will not fail or give up just for the sake of not failing and giving up. Let's go. All right, let's do this.
being on the being on the uh, transform. Take it to the barn, take it to the barn, take it to the barn. Oh yes! Let's see if I can store two items at once. Pick it up. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Yes! Oh, let's go. All right, look at that. It worked. All right. I don't usually listen to music, but man, that music helped a lot. I coded that in 20 minutes. I couldn't imagine that that was possible. Now, everything that I was bummed out about, all my garbage code is all gone now. And I'm very excited. The barn is finally working now. Everything's nice. All right, this is me a couple of weeks from the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. But in the next video, I'm going to be adding boats. It's super exciting. It turned out super well. You can drive the boats around. It's just really, really fun. And I'm adding fishing after that. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Peace.